have you seen a t-rex done up with all the feathers i've not no. it doesn't <laughs> look like what you imagine a t-rex to look like or even so a, like even a, a velociraptor <laughs> velociraptors look like birds really when you put when you cover them in fat i was saying this to someone the other day and i think they made fun of me for it but i i stand by it if you cover a dinosaur in feathers, it's incredible how bird-like it looks. Yeah. And the person I was talking to said, yeah, well, you cover anything in feathers and it looks like a bird. No. 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 You cover a dinosaur, if you, a, yeah. a, a sort of a theropod, di- a theropod dinosaur. So a theropod dinosaur is uh, the sort of um, raptor dinosaurs. So the ones that the ones that look like a velociraptor. You know, the ones right. that kind of look like they're leaning oh, yeah. forward. Yeah. Like a T-Rex. Like two a T-Rex, legs. like chickeny. Okay, yeah. Like, so, like chickeny looking yeah. ones. Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, I'm not entirely sure if... Yeah, I'm pretty sure T-Rex are theropods. Uh, let me just double check that so I can make sure. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, T-Rex theropods, I think uh, also your, your velociraptor. Yeah, because if you lot. think of a, a chicken naked, it's just a little, a little butch T-Rex. Yeah. Yeah, man, yeah. it's well. Obviously, there's a difference in there, uh, and you could probably figure this one out. Birds tend to have a much larger breastbone yeah. for obvious reasons, mm. right? They need to have big breasts so that they can flap their wings and fly. Um, so That'd be tasty. Sure. Yeah, that do. That <laughs> That's do. the reason. That's why. So it's a, a T Rex is a gigantic chicken with big boobs. Kind of. There's also this. I want to actually touch on this as well because I've, I've, I've. Um, no, no, no. The T Rex doesn't have big boobs. Sorry, with big, small boobs. Sorry, the chicken chested. has big boobs. Yeah, the chicken has big boobs. Big yeah. boob muscle, but yeah, big T-Rex boobs. T Rex flat chest. Big pecs. Yeah, big pecs. Yeah, yeah, muscly. So actually, yeah. chickens are much more muscly than T T Rexes. <laughs> Proportionally, uh, sure. proportionally to their size. Oh, but they got chicken legs, though, don't they? Scrawny little oh, chicken legs. Scrawny little chicken legs. Yeah. yeah, you look at the T Rex's meaty <laughs> leg. That's like one of those turkey drummers you got in school. Yeah. yeah. Oh. So I actually want to touch on something that I've seen on TikTok, and it's one of those usual things. So if you listen to the bonus episodes over on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash side guys, you'll actually find out that we 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 talk about TikToks that I find quite often that yeah. wind me up because they're just dead wrong. <laughs> now, TikTok seems to have uh, glommed onto this idea that the T Rex, the fossil, like the 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 sort of skeleton for the T Rex that we've that we put together, we put the arms on backwards. Because if you look at a T Rex arms when they're on backwards, it looks a lot like an ostrich hmm. and that's it. So T Rexes were just big ostr. No, no, you're no abs dead wrong. N- right. Not a single paleontologist has said <laughs> anything remotely similar to this. You've just looked at some bones that look a little bit similar to yeah. your untrained eye and said that's how they should be. It's absolutely not the case. The structure of the bones are different. The way that birds. I mean, I, we can't even do an episode on this, but I really wish we could. I implore everyone to look into bird bones. Or just bones in evolution in general, because those are fascinating to me. So you've obviously got, um, you know, you've got your, you've got the bones of your arm, which then turn into sort of wrist bones, and then you've got your hand bones, and then your finger bones. Oh yeah, yeah. and the finger bones are the are the wings in birds. every single, pretty much oh. every single animal that is, um, that is sort of re- remotely closely related, has the same arm plan that we do. Like, I yeah. mean, you look at horses, <laughs> you look at birds. So basically all mammals and birds have that. Reptiles tend to, they can go a bit different, but birds and mammals have this the same arm plan. They have the same bloody bones that they've evolved from, more or less. And, like, it's so cool to see. But is that right, what, what I've heard, like, in the wing of, like, a chicken, say, what we consider to be our fingers... Are like super long and they make up the entire wing like they make up the structure of the wing and then the what we consider our forearm and and like arm are like super short yeah so oh god okay I'm, I'm just looking at a diagram here and we could chuck this diagram up so essentially what we're looking at here is you, you've obviously got your humerus which is your uh big long the sort of long arm bone mm. you know your your yeah. not your forearm your upper arm upper arm uh, and then the, your forearm bones uh, are your radius and ulna which i hate because they cross over and that's disgusting yeah. and, <laughs> it shouldn't, and it's <laughs> wrong Ew, yeah, yeah. yes oh. so you, you got two bones in your forearm oh, you just ruined arms for me I, I as soon as I, <laughs> I i genuinely found that out when i was 24 and i hated it oh. i've I hated it oh, from the minute that someone because <laughs> it, it it is incredibly irritating they shouldn't be crossing over Ugh. they should say they should Ugh. stay straight oh oh, oh i'm so <laughs> anyway, aware of this now so you've got yeah. your radius and your ulna and then you've got your carpals which is the sort of the wristy handy bones um and then you've got your metacarpals which are these sort of 
these other bones sort of in your hands. Um, and then you've got your phalanges, which are your finger bones, as mm. far as I'm aware. This might be a little bit off, but I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Um, yeah, you've got your carpals, metacarpals, phalanges. So wristy bones, handy bones, fingy bones. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, now, with the bird... Now, uh, let's talk about bats, because this diagram has bats on it as well, and that's a really interesting way to, to consider it. So bats, obviously, converge in evolution. They also evolved wings in the same way. Not in the same way that birds did. In a similar way to how birds evolved wings. But separately obviously, to birds. Separately to birds. Yeah, right. But uh, also, they, 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 they clearly had um, had to adapt what like a mammalian hand, essentially, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. So what what uh, what bats do is they this is a bat wing is like this, right? What are you so doing? This for is, audio listeners. I'll, I'll, I'll okay. explain. Um, a bat wing is like is like this. So you've got your arm sort of bent and your fingers splayed out, and the wings of the bat yeah. are just fingers with a whole bunch of skin webbing in between. Yeah, yeah like a very yeah. webbed fingers. Um, and then the the pinky finger, the skin of the pinky finger, then attaches to sort of the foot. <laughs> And you know what I mean, and yeah. and and that's how you get a bat wing. Oh, sure. Um, and they've got the little thumb. Oh, at the, wow. You've got the little thumb at the top of the bat wing, which is like the little sort of claw, the grabby claw. But their fingers are just the wings, which is incredible to me. Whereas birds are kind of different. So they've got the radius. They've got you know you've obviously they've obviously got the humerus and then the radius and the ulna. Yeah. And then they've got the carpal, so the sort of wristy bones, and then the metacarpal, so the sort of hand bones are quite elongated, right? And then they've only got, I think, uh, three phalanges, it looks like, so three fingers. So it's easier to lose features than it is to gain them. Yeah. You know, for example, whales can lose their back legs, um, and I think still have the bones for them somewhere buried in their body. Um, yeah. Yeah, and lose their fingers, despite the fact that the bones for them are still buried in their bloody fins. Stupid. Um... <laughs> It's so stupid. I love it so much. <laughs> Evolution is dumb and I if love it. you wanted evidence that intelligent design probably wasn't wasn't the case. Just look at all the stupid things evolution has done. Man. There's literally a nerve that goes like down from your head, down to like the middle of your stomach, and then back up to your voice box or something like that. Sure. Intelligent design is if uh, uh, that would be, I honestly think, if like a toddler were to yeah. design thing, like, okay. It's more complex than a toddler w could design. But if God was a toddler, that would be intelligent design. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, you're like, oh, well, I've put this down. Oh, a toddler with down. no undo button. Yeah, no yeah. undo yeah. button. That's it. It's drawing in pen. <laughs> you're like, oh, man, wouldn't it be cool if I drew this? Oh, I gave oh. it legs. But it, legs are bad for where it lives. I guess I'll just kind of cover the legs Join the legs body. <laughs> um, uh, okay, sure. So birds... Um, <laughs> So with birds, obviously, uh, they, their arms are their arms are pretty similar up until the sort of wrist bones, um, and then you've got the, the sort of wristy handy bones that are kind of similar wrist to ours, and then it's the the metacarpals. So that would be, I think, in our in our hands. Do you know when you how you can kind of feel um, the bones yeah. in your hand, like your fingers, bones, your like hand. your fingers so extend right down. Yeah, it feels kind of to your wrist, <laughs> which again, freaky, weird. It feels like if you were to split. Your fingers down, you could just have super extra long fingers. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that part of birds is what's modified, right? That part of birds is there's um they've got two carpals, uh, metacarpals it looks like, which are sort of um which are sort of like uh elongated and kind of coming together, kind of like the radius and ulna. Um and then they've got three uh phalanges, which are sort of one is jutting off the top, kind of like how the bat um phalange uh, uh juts off the top no, yes the bat yeah. finger juts off the top and then they've got kind of two other uh fingers in <laughs> still inside the wing that are just kind of like they're just kind of like this in a sort of like peace sign shape <laughs> pointing downwards <laughs> um and and so bird wings the way that they're depicted in media are basically not how bird wings actually <laughs> look i mean when you look right. at a bird wing when it's like plucked it just looks like two pointy sort of like it looks like two sort of pointy stabby things yeah which I've seen on some dinosaurs. Looks very cool, um, and it, you can you can kind of understand how something like a T Rex or a Velociraptor could have uh, evolved into something more like a chicken, or or something along that line, or along those lines, say, or something like an ostrich, or or anything else. You know, you could see how the the sort of progression there. They just kind of lose bones, extend some of them, move to different mm. places. It's it's really, really bloody interesting. Uh, so that's that's kind of how that's kind of the connection between dinosaurs and birds because birds literally are just they're just dinosaurs.